So this is like an impromptu video. Um, we just got a couple questions from one of our new subscribers, which super exciting for us because the reason we made this channel is to have or to be able to at least relay our experiences, the things that we have learned being here for almost four years now. So um, the first part of this question was about location. You know, which side of Costa Rica do you live on? Are you in the Pacific? Are you in the Caribbean? You know, why did you choose to be there? Uh, this person was well aware of microclimates, you know, and because there's a lot of different microclimates here in Costa Rica. And to answer that, what I was looking for whenever we first had this idea, I said, okay, you know, we're going to go to a different country because I grew up in the Ozarks in Missouri. And if you know anything about the Midwest, we got all four seasons to the extreme. And so I wanted to be somewhere where it was cool enough at night that I didn't need air conditioning and I could sleep good, but warm enough in the day where I could run around in t-shirt and shorts. For Costa Rica, one of the things that helped me decide on locations was elevation, all right? How high up were we? And what we learned over the course of oh, six years of reading everything I could on the internet, if you go above 5,000 feet, you can run into problems with what we call bruma here. Um, and it's basically the, the clouds that roll in over the mountains in the night. And you get a really, really thick condense, condensing fog that can give you problems with mold and other things like that. So anyway, I knew we had to be below 5,000 feet. But I also knew that I want to be as close to that as I could so that we would have, you know, Nice cool evenings, but warm enough during the day so we don't have to have AC. Because if you live down at the beach, you've got to have AC. It's, it's hot. It's really hot. So um, whenever we were trying to find our place and we were looking around, um, some friends of ours who lived about 45 minutes away from where we live now um, said, Hey, what do you think about the city of Pomadas? Uh, now I knew the I knew the place not that I had been there but I knew it because of the elevation I knew it was a mountain town and I knew it was around right about 3,500 feet I said hey that's fantastic you know that sounds great so that is the main reason um, we wanted somewhere <laughs> this sounds bad we wanted somewhere away from tourists. We wanted somewhere that was, for the most part, away from other expats. And the reason for this was that I didn't want to, I didn't want to be live around the same culture that I was leaving. Uh, for me and for my family, it was important that we, whenever we actually branched out and to a new area and a new place. We really wanted to branch out. I mean, we wanted to we wanted to make friends with our community here of locals. So that's what we did. Palmadas is not a tourist hotspot. I mean, we have I think there's one hotel in the entire town. Um, I think you might be able to rent some cabins on the edge of town, but that's it. Uh, mostly the people who live here. Um, they're working class community. I mean, they're, they're driving to San Jose, the capital, about an hour every morning to go to work, about an hour back. Um, it's just working class, middle class town. And so that's really what we, that's why we came here. Uh, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be in a gated community or anything like that. Uh, so since we've been here and I've got to see more of Costa Rica, you know, we've been as far north as Tamarindo on the Pacific side, as far south as uh, Puerto Viejo, um, just, just north of Panama on the Caribbean side. The Caribbean side is really cool down by Puerto Viejo. 
Um, it's very, it's, 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 it's humid, but it is really pretty. Um, where we were going through, things seemed a little run down. Um, it looked like they'd had some bad storms in the past, or uh, I think they'd actually had a hurricane and an earthquake in the past. So it looked like, you know, a few things had just been kind of left um, and abandoned. But the town itself was nice. Um, I mean, for a tourist town, it was, it was nice. Uh, the food was great, a little expensive, but it was really good. Um, the ocean was great because all we do is just play in the surf. And, you know, the ocean was fantastic. We rented a, uh, a, a house right next to the beach for five days, and it was great. But, you know, the food's a little expensive. I don't think I'd want to live down there for the simple fact of the humidity was bad enough, and this was not during rain, rainy season, but the humidity was bad enough that, you know, there was a little bit of a, a mold smell. Um, and I'm sure there's ways around or uh, how to adapt to that, but we didn't know them. So it was, but it was, I mean, I would go back in a heartbeat to visit, but I don't think it's a place I want to live. Um, Tamarindo up north on the Pacific has beautiful beaches, uh, but it's a tourist town. So we actually didn't stay in Tamarindo. We stayed about two kilometers away in a little place called, um, well, in English, if you saw it in English, you would say Villa Real. Uh, here it's pronounced Villa Real. Uh, and basically, I think that little town, most of their, this is Tico's, and most of their work is in the tourist industry in Tamarindo. So we stayed there, and it was quiet. Um, like I said, working class community. It was great. Uh, grocery store nearby. They had a, a restaurant, several little sodas, or the small restaurants nearby. It was fun. I would go back there in a heartbeat to visit. Uh, but as far as as far as finding where you really want to be, for me, it's a, what was my high and low temperature wise. Like where we live right now. The coldest I've seen it is about 59 degrees at night, about like that 4 a.m., you know. The hottest I've seen it is like 87, 88 degrees. That's my comfort zone. I can go pretty much all year round in shorts and t-shirts. So that's where I wanted to be. Now, if the beach is very uh, important to you, then, you know, you just make allowances and, and you work that way. I would suggest and i had not read the book myself but i would suggest to look up um there's a lady who wrote a book called happier than a billionaire easy to find that book because it's like been number one on amazon for moving to costa rica for years her and her husband um have been here for like nine years she wrote a book two years ago on finding the the best way to find a town for you, you know, the best way to find what you're looking for in this country. All the other advice I've ever seen, Nadine's her name, Nadine and Rob, uh, Nadine and Rob, um, all the information I've ever seen from them is spot on. So definitely look up, uh, I can't, I'm sorry, Nadine, if you ever see this, I can't pronounce your last name and I should be able to, but I'll just butcher it. Anyway, look up Happier Than a Billionaire. She's got like, I think, five books out now. Um, and she has a book just on finding the correct place for you here. Her information is awesome. So I would, I would check on that. And let's see, what else? <laughs> Piece of advice. So let's say, you know, let's say you're someone who's from, I don't know, let's say Georgia, or you're from Saskatchewan in Canada, and you grew up in that area. 
you know where the best place is to be in your specific area. You know, you know where, oh yeah, if, if, if you live over near this town, this is a really nice area and then maybe there's a pretty river or, or whatever. Are, are the roads always really good on this area? Um, you know, are this neighborhood a little bit better than that neighborhood? I think you have to come here with the same mindset. There's no way that someone could come from outside your hometown, move to your hometown, and other than just from blind luck, finding the spot or the nice area. Uh, I have the same attitude here. You know, whenever you, whenever you show up, don't plan on, oh, I'm just going to be in this one area. Get comfortable with the area you're in and then look around uh, and, and learn more and more about it. And I think that's, it takes longer, but I think that's probably a, a better approach. Uh, we, we've been hugely blessed uh, where we landed. The people have just been great. Uh, a matter of fact, about a year and a half ago, uh, our lease was up and we were leaving the first house that we had rented. And so I told my wife, I said, okay, here's our opportunity. You know, do you want to, do you want to go live at the beach? Do you want to go higher up into the mountains? Do you want to go to this town? Do you want to go to that town? Do you want to go to this side of Costa Rica? And my wife looked at me and said, I don't want to leave our friends. So I was like, okay. So that day, I think it was, um, I put on my sandals and I think I walked around 10 miles, uh, just different neighborhoods looking for a, uh, the for rent sign. Because like I said before in other videos, Google doesn't work here. So I, you know, my feet were on the street, time to walk around, look and see what's available. Um, and uh, a, a Costa Rican friend of ours was actually the person who found the place we're in now and it's perfect. But anyway, my best advice is read Nadine's book because she'll have great info and come here with the for the, the pre-thinking that okay I'm gonna be here for a few months and from here once I kind of learn the culture a little bit learn the people around me then I'm going to spread out and maybe fine-tune where I'm at so anyway uh, <laughs> this has been, like, like I said, I don't usually do videos like this that are just, you know, spur of the moment things, but we just got some comments from her and I just, I had to answer back. Anyway, um, guys, take care. Thank you so much for your support. And if you have any questions, please, please put them down in the comments because, you know, hey, I can put barefoot videos up all the time, but this is the stuff and the reason why we actually do it. Take care, guys. Bye.